Hey hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be making an account I'm very excited about and that is a Slayer only Iron Man account. Essentially what this will be is an regular Iron Man account that can only receive items through the Slayer skill. So as soon as I get off tutorial island I'm going straight tutorial, grabbing a task, and going from there. Now some of the sub rules are going to be as follows. I cannot buy any weapons or armor from shops and I cannot get them obviously through the Grand Exchange or another player because I'm an Iron Man already, by the way. So I'm going to be getting all the armor and weapons through Slayer drops, as well as that I'm going to be getting resource items through Slayer, which I am going to be allowed to be processed. So stuff like logs, uh, seeds, any crafting supplies can be used in a respective manner to get experience in that skill. So that's really just going to be limiting to gathering skills, so no skills like mining, woodcutting, hunter, fishing, stuff like that. We'll probably not get any or much experience in it. So quests I will be allowed to do, assuming I can get the experience in a legal manner through my rules. Now certain quests will give experience into mining and stuff like that, and I will be allowed to do that assuming I don't ever mine a rock or fish a fish from the sea. So last up buying consumable items like food, ammunition, uh, runes, stuff like that, I will be allowed to buy from shops. Originally I was not going to even allow that, however I tried this for like an hour and it just was way too hard without being able to get food from a reliable source. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy, let's get started. All right, so we're grabbing our first ever task from Turiel, so we're gonna have to hope that it's something I can kill um, with melee, ideally, because I haven't gotten, gotten any money yet. Pretty soon here, I'll do this stronghold of security, but I just wanna get a few Slayer tasks out of the way just to see if I get any useful drops to begin with and just get a few uh, HP and melee levels. So we're starting off with monkeys, which is not amazing. However, um, it is doable. I think they're on Karamjan. They should only be level three or five. Uh, it says 244, but I think it's just 24. I hope we'll probably go grab some bananas for food, uh, but we'll head over there pretty quickly and let's go kill some. Okay, so that task was actually quite annoying because the scorpions were around attacking me, but I'm hoping to finish my first ever uh, task. Unfortunately, I won't get any slayer points from this master ever. It's a bit annoying. And I have been picking up the bones. Uh, they're not great. They're only five prayer experience, but I should be bearing everything. However, I think monkey bones may be used in a quest, especially Monkey Madness, so I'm going to keep a few of them. Okay, so there we go, we finished up our first ever Slayer task. It just got us to 4 attack, 5 strength, and 11 HP, as well as a few Slayer levels. Okay, so let's grab another task from Turiel, and it's going to be Dwarves. Not sure if they have any valuable drops, but we'll go check in a minute here. As soon as I get about 15 or 16 HP, I'll go ahead and go do the Waterfall quest, but I don't want to get one shot by the Moss Giants. So hopefully these Dwarves will have uh, something useful on the drop table and we'll go kill the 39 we're assigned. Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't kill the Dwarves with melee because I'm so weak, so I went ahead and did the Stronghold of Security to get the 10k, and we're going to go ahead and buy some Mage Runes. So unfortunately I can't actually buy an Elemental Staff from the shop, so I'm going to have to manually cast everything which is going to be pretty annoying for the first while. Okay, so we're just attacking the dwarves here. We're up to level 13 magic, so we can now use Fire Strike. Unfortunately, I still have to manually cast all of the spells. Um, the black dwarves here actually have a better drop table. However, they're taking a lot longer to kill, so I don't think it's worth it. I'm just picking up some bronze equipment and some runes and stuff like that, but uh, no particularly useful drops from the dwarves, so we'll go ahead and uh, finish off the task and then grab a new one. Okay, next up is bears. That is a really terrible task, but unfortunately you can't skip it because I'm already on Turiel and you can't skip a task it gives you. So we're going to go ahead and kill bears, uh, but I think first I'm going to go ahead and do the waterfall quest uh, because I don't want to waste all my runes maging him and I can't melee him currently with my stats. So we'll go ahead and do the waterfall quest and then maybe go finish this task. Okay, so I went ahead and started the waterfall quest. I went and grabbed a few stews and a few kebabs. Kebab has got an Alcarid for 1 GP. They're very cost effective, but it's very annoying to get them because uh, you have to go through a few interface menus. Same thing with the stews, not very efficient. Okay, so I went ahead and finished off the Waterfall quest. Very easy quest, and there's no really items you need to actually finish it, so it's nice. And there we go. There is 13k strength and attack experience, which will bring you all the way to level 30. Yeah, perfect. So now maybe we'll hit more than one damage. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Honestly, I still have a bronze sword, so that's going to suck pretty hard still. But anyway, since I finished that quest, I think I'll be able to go take on the Mighty Bears, and I'll go ahead and move on to the next task. Okay, so this task took so long. I think it probably took me an hour and a half, maybe, to kill all these bears. Because there's only one per world, so I had to kill one, hop around. I got an insoled bear head, which is kind of nice. Uh, one thing I really want to work towards is getting uh, my projection prayers. It's very useful, uh, but very slow. I'm burying every bone I get, but my prayer level is just going up so slowly. Um, so getting these insold heads will help quicken the process by quite a bit. So I got all the way to 14 Slayer, 
We're at 23 magic and 18 defense just from killing these bears. So we're getting a reasonable combat experience, but still obviously pretty slow. Because again, I'm using the fucking bronze sword, but not much I can do about that right yet. Okay, so we went and grabbed another task, and we got ghosts. That's pretty bad. The ghosts don't have any drops, pretty much. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do that quickly, and then probably just go get another one. Okay, so we're just having a quick look at the uh, Slayer options here. Nothing good at level 16 Slayer, unfortunately. But now we got dogs. It's another pretty bad task, because they're just scattered around random places in RuneScape. I think we're going to go to the McGregor Woods to kill it, because I think I can save spot it there with magic. And we are shooting to get high alchemy, so getting any magic training will help out quite a bit. Okay, there we go. We just finished up our task of dogs. Um, just got us a few magic levels, I think. Auto casting is so annoying. I really need to get any kind of staff. Anything will be so helpful. Even the magic staff, which doesn't give you any elemental runes for free. Um, I did get two insole dog heads, which again will help me get some prayer experience. That being said, I still need to unlock the Arceus spellbook, which is pretty easy and doesn't actually have any requirements or very little requirements anyway. So I'll probably do that when I get a fair bit of the ensouled heads, and then I'll get some prayer experience. So we decided to go get a Wilderness Slayer task, because honestly, Turiel just has the most terrible tasks in the world. And the Wilderness Slayer has so many good options for potential um, amazing tasks. For one, Lava Dragons. They drop Lava Dragon Bones, which will get me a ton of prayer experience. Um, I just got Rogues right now, which isn't great. However... Um, still good experience, and I think I could get a few good equipments from them. Good relative to my account, anyway. Uh, continuing on, Revenants. Revenants would be an amazing task because they have the potential of dropping so much stuff. Um, Dragon two-handers, which are going to be very hard to get otherwise. I can get any of the new like crossbow. Imagine if I got that. That'd be so lucky. But anyway, it's going to be a really primo task if I can get it. Unfortunately, the waiting on that is kind of low. Hopefully I can get it pretty soon. So we just finished up our task of rogues. One thing I got was actually a clue scroll, which is indeed a slayer drop, so I can do it in theory. I don't think I actually can do this one because there's a few items I need, which are just going to take too long to do. Uh, so fire giants. Now, getting the rune scimitar would be nice. However, fire giants in the wilderness, you can't really safe spot them very well. So that sounds like a pain in the ass to do that many, and I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to skip it for now and hopefully get it later when I'm a little bit stronger. Okay, so unfortunately I had to skip the Fire Giant task. We're going to have to go skip it with Turiel. I'm not really worried about Slayer points at this point in time. However, uh, in a little bit I'll explain my, well, my strategy going forward to how I'm going to actually earn some Slayer points and then be able to actually skip the tasks that suck. Okay, so my next task is 95 Scorpions, and I just wanted to take a minute to explain how I plan on getting uh, Slayer points in the future. So my tentative plan is going to be by using Wilderness Slayer. So to start off here, when you complete a Wilderness Slayer task, you are getting 25 um, Slayer points, which is a ton compared to any of the other Slayer Masters, like um, fucking Vanica gives four per task. Like it's so much more. The one drawback right now is I need to complete five Wilderness tasks in a row to start earning points. So I'm going to have to get a little bit lucky, not extremely lucky. There's a ton of easy tasks in the wilderness and once I start getting points and get a few stocked up I should have enough to continue doing it indefinitely. 25 points is almost a skip so I'm only going to need to complete about half of the tasks and I went ahead and went through them all and I can complete more than half however some of the tougher tasks have higher weighing so I'm going to get them more often. So there's a few ways I could get my first five tasks complete in the wilderness. I could just do five and hope I get lucky and don't get one I have to skip or I could do them until I cannot do the task, make sure I have 30 points to skip it, and then go do Vanica tasks until I get uh, 30 more points. That will be the slower but more consistent way, however, uh, the other way seems uh, quite a bit quicker, so I may go with that as well. So I'm not really sure what the whole point of Slayer points will be in this account. Obviously unlocking extends for certain tasks, and uh, just unlocking certain tasks in general points will be useful, but I don't know if I can get the Slayer helmet because I cannot get the black mask. Okay, so we actually got a mysterious emblem as a drop. Uh, another good question is what I'm going to do with this. I forgot to record one earlier, and I actually have two now. So the Bounty Hunter store is good. However, he mostly sells weapons and armor, which I can't use. Uh, so I can either save up for the rune pouch, which will be useful, or buy a piece of equipment, Alkit, which is pretty inefficient. Okay, so uh, we finished up the task. We actually got three and sold scorpion heads, which is nice. So let's grab another task from Crystallia, and it looks like it is a lesser demon. So that will be pretty good for us. We can get the rune head helm, as well as a few other pieces of equipment, which will come in handy. Okay, there we go. There's our first legitimate gear upgrade. We got the mithril chain body, which is going to be quite a bit better than the Iron Man plate body. 
While we're here, we're picking we... up earth staves and uh, steel plate bodies because we're currently selling them to the store for money. So this task is kind of good for two ways. Good for money and uh, good for getting some equipment. So that's going to be a nice upgrade. So next up, we're looking for the steel scimitar as well as the steel full helm. And I think there's another shield I could get here as well. Okay, there we go. There is the steel full helm. I'm happy to get it, but really we need that steel scimitar, which is going to be an actual upgrade in damage because currently I think it only hit like a 4 or 5 with melee. It's very pitiful. Uh, but we're getting lots of magic experience. We're up to 38 magic as well as 27 slayer. So we're doing pretty good. There we go, guys. That's the most important one. There's the steel scimitar. So finally I actually have a decent weapon. I don't really call it decent, but, you know, it's better than the bronze sword. Uh, it's going to be like three times better. I'm The attack speed's higher, the damage is going to be higher, and just overall so much better. Ah, didn't think I was going to get it, but with 11 kills left, we actually got the rune med helm. So that will be our first piece of rune armor, uh, which we can't wear yet because we don't have the defense level, but pretty happy to get that. And that's pretty much all the drops we needed from lesser demons. So if I get this task in the future, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do it because this took like three hours. It took so long to do this task. The only item I missed, I think, was like a black shield of some sort or something else not super vital so i don't think i'm gonna do this again all right so let's see what our next task is gonna be hopefully something that's not lesser demons again we got all the way to 46 magic from that one it took so long revenants there we go that's actually really good uh, the waiting on revenants is extremely low so it's not very likely same with lava dragons which are good so revenants are amazing because all this dragon equipment pretty much any drop from revenants would be perfect obviously i'm not high enough level to kill anything besides the Revenant Imps, but they still have a chance of dropping anything. So if we get lucky, we might get a Runet piece of equipment, or if we get really lucky, we might get Dragon or Crossbow. Uh, it's not a Revenant drop. We got something, but it's the Slayer's Enchantment. That's actually a drop just for doing Wilderness Slayer. So uh, that's a little unfortunate. We got 40 more Revenants to kill, though. Okay, so we're all the way up to level 33 Slayer. Getting up there pretty quickly, honestly. Uh, so let's go grab another task from Crystallia, 145 Greater Demons. I'm tempted to do it, but the only main gear upgrade would be the Rune Full Helm, which I mean is nice. However, there's a few other ways for me to get that item. The 145 Greater Demons is going to take so long. It already took me like three hours to do Lesser Demons, so I'm probably going to skip Greater Demons. Let's have a quick look just in case. Hopefully my laptop doesn't die here. <clears throat> So besides the rune fell helm, it has the adamant plate legs and uh, not anything else really worth getting. So I'm probably going to skip this task and do a Vanica task now because I have actually gotten to 40 combat, which is nice. So we yeah, no longer will have to do Turiel unless I get a really crazy task from Vanica. And we're just having a quick look at the Slayer Reward Shop. Won't be getting any of that for a while, but let's grab a, a task from Vanica and 91 Moss Giants. That's actually quite nice. For one, you can get the Mossy Keys, and I'll be able to fight the boss, maybe at some point, and get a piece of Runite armor or a weapon, which would be really good. Also, it drops the Magic Staff, so if I get that, it's a common drop, I will have something to auto-cast magic with. Even if it doesn't save me on runes, not having to manually cast will be amazing. Okay, there we go. We got the Black Square Shield from Moss Giants. That's a gear upgrade for sure. Not anything too exciting, but still uh, better than the Wooden Square Shield. And we're getting prayer experience from the Big Bones. Okay, there's my first inventory. We got uh, two black square shields, still no magic staff, which is really unfortunate. Um, I'm really hoping to be able to auto-cast pretty soon. We're getting lots of herbs, which is nice for later in the game, as well as uh, and so we'll giant heads, such as prayer experience, and lots of seeds. So these guys are just treating us pretty well, as well as nature runes and cosmic runes. While I can buy them from the store, uh, any item I get that I don't have to buy with cash is going to save me a lot of money. Oh, thank God. There we go. We got the magic staff, so I no longer have to auto-cast. Uh, magics that can be actually just do it automatically thank god so i'm still using a lot of runes but being able to auto cast fire strike is going to be so useful ah uh, yes there we go we got the mossy key uh, it's a 1 in 75 chance so i wasn't really sure if i was going to get it or not so i'm going to be working towards killing this small boss which normally is terrible but in my case being able to drop rune items is going to be extremely useful anyway guys i think that's where we're going to end the episode i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave it a like we're going to try to kill this boss on the next episode if we can. Otherwise, we're going to keep stocking up these mossy keys until we can. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.